tonight. The WWE Universe has been promised an explanation for what happened at day one. But what would explain it, Michael? Be quiet and we might find out. My road to WWE hasn't been like most. Ever since my debut, I've had advantages simply because of my family. I know that. And you, the WWE Universe, has accepted me sometimes because of that, and sometimes in spite of that. Then there's Ava Moreno. From the very beginning, Ava has put me down for who I am, even as she used it for her own benefit. Ava, I pulled you up with me onto main event. You even had the gall to make me work for it, even though it was my name getting us a match. You took advantage of me, Ava. Our whole partnership, which you weaseled into, might I add, was never about being a real team. It was always about you using me. <laughs> I realized that at day one, when you were reaching out of the ring trying to use me again. And so I made a decision. I'm not apologizing for who I am anymore. <laughs> I've already dropped the dead weight. But tonight, I'd love to introduce the WWE Universe to my new manager. Someone I think you already know. It's WWE legend Justine. We guess that she might be advising her niece on her career in WWE, but this makes it official. A new manager and a new attitude from the former tag team champion. I'm not sure if I agree with her updated outlook, but I certainly want to see what comes in this latest chapter. I, for one, think it's a great outlook, Cole. She's looking out for number one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see her at the very top very soon. Do you think she's going for the SmackDown Women's Championship? Where else would her interest lie? Justine wouldn't waste her time with anything less. The champion better keep her head on a swivel. Dewdrop, watch out. What's all this? <laughs> Did you really expect me to manage you out of the regular SmackDown locker room? I made a request, and management set us up with our own private VIP area. This is pretty awesome. Don't act so surprised. You need to start thinking like a champion and main eventer. Do you really think Hogan or The Rock got ready with the rest of the roster? Being on top means asking for or taking exactly what you deserve. As your manager, I worked it into my rider. You mean my rider? Sure, whatever. Anyway, are you ready to talk next steps or do you want to get settled first? I'm ready to be champion. Let's go. Great. I talked with Molly and set up an opportunity for you. A match against Charlotte Flair. Your move against Ava worked. They now see you as a singles competitor who can hold your own against a WrestleMania main eventer. Prove them right in your match against Charlotte. You got me a match with Charlotte? I'm impressed. Of course you are. I don't mess around. The Queen hasn't faced this challenger since. Ava from behind. She's not going to let her former partner get to this match. What we're seeing here is raw aggression and clear revenge for what happened at day one when these two lost the tag team championships. WWE officials may be breaking this up, but I don't think we've seen the end of this. LJ. Little Justine. That nickname's even more fitting now that you're working with the only thing that got you into WWE in the first place. Did you really think that after what happened between us, I was going to just sit back and stay quiet? You and your aunt must be stupider than I thought. I never weaseled my way into anything in my life. 
you approached me for a main event match. When we first teamed up for the Money in the Bank match, I not only ensured our victory, but then I had to practically drag you out of your comfort zone so that our cash-in wasn't doomed to fail. I will admit one thing, though. When you turned on me, I was kind of impressed. I didn't think you had it in you, LJ. Thinking for yourself for the first time in your career. But what I realize now is that you had just went back to having your aunt do all the thinking and work for you. So if I've got a fight with both of you, fine by me. You were always nothing more than a knockoff copy of her anyway, little Justine. I'm gonna tear Ava apart for what she did and said about me. If Ava wants to make more trouble, I'm not gonna wait until next week. I want to hit her before she leaves tonight. That's my girl. And if you need help, I'll have your back. You'll have my back? Uh, how? You can't fight. Maybe not, but I've got a few other tricks up my sleeve. I'm not going to let her call us both out and then just sit on the sidelines. And there you see Ava Moreno, who targeted her former partner tonight in a surprising attack. Looks like she's the one who's getting targeted now. What did she expect? These two need to think of the long-term effects that battling backstage will do to their careers. Well, the long-term effects could be drastic. Anything can become a weapon back there. One of them could catch a chair in the face or get cut on broken glass. Even worse, destroy catering. Well, I pray that nothing like that happens here, guys. She's fighting back. What a counter. Boom! Boom! Arm drag reversal. Drop toe hold. Kick. Mercy behind that forearm. That right there is why you've got to keep your head on a swivel in a situation like this. I would prefer never being in a situation like this, Corey. This is not what parking lots were made for. Ava with a reversal into the ambulance. And Ava is taking out all her aggression on her former tag partner. Do you blame her after what she did? I don't. You think you're better than me? That I'd lay down and take it when you... Look out! That car came out of nowhere! This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Justine? What the hell? I think her niece is just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help. You're lucky that Ava only suffered some minor injuries, and that it was your aunt who was driving the car and not you. We'd be having a very different conversation. If you'll recall, Ava started it. My memory is excellent, including my memory of your actions at day one. But it's clear to me that you two won't stop until you destroy each other. Destroying Ava works for me then let's at least get a SmackDown main event match out of this. And since you're determined to drive each other to hell and back, 
It's going to be the most brutal match in WWE. Hell in a cell. Perfect. And one more thing. I can't risk Justine driving into the arena and hitting anyone. Our event insurance is high enough as it is. She's barred from ringside, either on foot or in a motorized contraption of any kind. Fine by me. I don't need her help to take Ava out anyway. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. The following is a hell in a cell match. Making her way to the ring from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. And from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. I have a feeling we're about to witness some fireworks in what better setting than Hell in a Cell. It should be all in a cell because Justine should be in jail after hitting Ava with a car. It's a testament to Ava's toughness. She's even here. But Justine and her niece are in the driver's seat of this rivalry. And that pun is definitely intended. Then here come the punches. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, positioning it, top rope, heading up there. This is not gonna be good. Could be catastrophic. Superplex. She's losing some steam now. Well, it's definitely not ideal, but they're gonna have to learn to adjust if they wanna survive. It's hell in a cell, Cole. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. A table, the WWE Universe is going wild. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Boom! You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Ooh, what a forearm club. Look out! As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Ooh! Oh, man! Gets inside the ring. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Oh, look out, guys. Broken in half. Straight through. 
through the heart of the table. We are through the looking glass now, people. Anything goes from here on out. Well, she definitely wants to hurt her competition as much as possible. If the table's any indication, name the tables. And that one misses the mark. gonna take. She got launched. She's bringing the table into play here. She is done playing around. She's in the ring now. like Saxton. There she goes up the side. Oh, uh, this looks like one of those last gasp efforts, if you ask me. That's what you gotta do to win this thing. She is on some kind of mission, climbing the walls of the cell. She's atop the structure. I don't want to know what. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. Oh, my gut buster. How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you hold this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag them to hell. What a sidewalk slam. Cinches up the arm and a vicious kick to the jaw. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I think they have blinders on, Saxton. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. A, a domino stretch. Oh, nice. Ava with a cause for concern. Some battles up in the cell, and nothing good ever comes 
the net. Looking for the second. Abdominal stretch. Ow! Oh, see that? Nice. Will she take advantage? Paid to see. Here's a snap bear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Kick right in the face. Ooh. Someone get the EMTs ready. I just know this isn't going to end well. Precariously battling 25 feet up in the air. And did you hear the impact of that? Brutalized with kicks to the big clothesline. Everyone in this arena is on their feet. Everyone is holding their breath. How is this going to end? but can I just say this wouldn't have happened had she not climbed to the top of the cell. You could certainly say that, Corey, but that's not the point. Ooh! Uppercut! Jarring. Ava feels the pressure mounting as she delivers there. Ava will keep fighting until she has nothing left. She's heading up the cell, guys. To do what? Okay, she's left her mind, Michael. And she's made it to the top. And now what? Come on. Let's... Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over it. This is too much, but I can't look away. <laughs> She's looking to put an end to this hard-fought battle. Oh, man, are we going to see it? From the heavens, she must go. And with absolutely no regard for her well-being, she just put her through a table. Complete and utter chaos in this women's matchup. figure out how to move on from tonight and come back better. It'll take more than she showed tonight if she hopes to earn a spot on the big stage. <laughs> 